So I actually wanted to start off with a story about a married couple in Massachusetts who, like any family, have real challenges and problems that they face every day. Mary has been a state police officer for over 20 years. She collects and analyzes evidence at crime scenes. Her wife, Kathy, stays at home to take care of the two sons. She's on her PTA executive board and helps coordinate the book fair to help raise money for their school. However, even though Mary risks her life and safety to protect her community, Kathy doesn't have the same security and peace of mind that other officer spouses have who are guaranteed survivor benefits should something tragic happen to their spouses on the job. Why? Because Kathy and Mary are a same-sex couple, and the federal government re refuses to recognize their marriage. And even though Kathy needs to receive her health insurance through Mary's employer, in order to stay home to take care of the kids, they would have to pay additional taxes for that spousal health insurance for Kathy to start working again, even though Mary's straight co-workers don't. Why? Because the federal government pretends that Mary and Kathy aren't married, but rather legal strangers instead. And even though Mary and Kathy, like any other family, could use every extra dime to save for emergencies or for their son's college funds, they have to pay extra taxes every year because they can't file their federal taxes jointly. Mary neighbors can. Why? Again, because the federal government discriminates against them by denying them valuable federal rights and protection that are normally offered to every other married couple and their children. This federal law called DOMA excludes legally married same-sex couples okay. from the biggest program okay, cool. that our federal government offers to support and protect families. With DOMA, the federal government reaches into Massachusetts and divides legally married couples into two categories, those worthy of federal protections and those deemed unworthy. Boo! Now, when we talk about DOMA, we need to be specific because there's actually two parts of DOMA. One part says that other states can refuse to recognize the marriages of same-sex couples married in another state. Now, this part didn't really add anything, though, because states have always had that right to decide which marriages to recognize. However, the other part of DOMA most directly harms same-sex couples who are married because of these valuable federal rights and protections. It limits marriage to those of one man and one woman. It confines the definition of spouse to those people of the opposite sex for purposes of all federal law. These limitations on who counts as married directly impact 1,138 federal laws and programs in which marital status is a factor. Now, what rights and protections are we talking about? They include the right to take time off from work to care for your seriously ill spouse under the Family Medical Leave Act. They include the right, uh, the ability of a citizen to sponsor his or her non-resident spouse for purposes of immigration and to keep their family together. They include prevention against elder homelessness when one spouse goes into a nursing home under Medicaid. They include Social Security spousal survival benefits upon the disability, retirement, or death of a spouse. And the list goes on. By denying these legal benefits and protections to married same-sex couples, the federal government is treating these marriages as second class. And we have never had first class and second class marriages in this country before. All marriages should be equal under the law. Not to mention, the federal government has always deferred to state determinations of marriage before in the past but not so for same-sex couples. The fact, is DOMA has, uh, the fact is DOMA tramples on states' rights by effectively undoing a marriage already sanctioned by the state. Now, despite its title, DOMA has actually nothing to do with, quote, defending marriage, because it actually doesn't even prevent any states from marrying same-sex couples. Each individual state still gets to decide who they marry, and Massachusetts has already made that determination that it wants to allow same-sex couples to marry. Instead of defending marriage, 
DOMA is actually one of the only examples of explicit discrimination against a group of people that we still have in our federal laws. Boo. Many members of Congress vilified gay people in same-sex relationships during the House debates. For example, former Representative Bob Barr, who authored DOMA as a freshman Ooh, legislator, Barr. argued in the House debates, quote, the very foundations of our society are in danger of being burned. The flames of hedonism, the flames of narcissism, the flames of self-centered morality are licking at the very foundations of our, of our society, the family unit. Vlad is hard at work figuring out how to dismantle this discriminatory law. We've spoken to hundreds of married couples. We have looked into every federal program that DOMA affects. You can rest assured that when DOMA goes down, Vlad will be there. Woo! We can't do it without your help. You know, visit our website, support our campaign, join our email list, pick up a flyer and learn more. And if you're married, please fill out one of our surveys online. And never forget that you are all messengers in this fight as well. And what you hear today are your tools. Most people out there have never even heard of DOMA. Get to them first and educate them. Tell them the truth about DOMA before they hear about it on Fox News first. <laughs> never underestimate the power of personal conversation to change a person's mind. Former Representative Bob Barr, who I just spoke about, is the perfect example. Just last Monday, in an op-ed in the LA Times, Mr. Barr rescinded his support for DOMA. This is the Bob Barr who authored DOMA in 1996. This is the Bob Barr who, during the congressional debates, argued that, quote, the assault by the homosexual extremists to attack the institution of marriage would throw open the doors of the U.S. Treasury to be raided, raided by the homosexual movement. Twelve years later, even Mr. Barr is calling for its repeal. If Bob Barr can change his mind, so can anyone. Rallies are great, but it's time to get out there. Call your legislators and ask them to repeal DOMA and pass ENDA and hate crimes and repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. educate them about federal discrimination because DOMA is not just an affront to gay and lesbian married couples but to all of us who believe in equality for all. <laughs>